Yo, Makoto! What's up? Never thought I'd run into anyone else here this early. What brings you out at the crack of dawn on a Sunday? Oh, just some errands. Important time-sensitive errands. Errands? At seven in the morning? Must be some super secret police stuff, huh? Never mind that. What about you? Ah, uh, you know, trying to stay in top shape as usual. I'm meeting Akichi for a jog in Kichijoji. Speaking of which, we're planning something for Anne's birthday next month. You in? I'd be happy to join, but let's keep it alcohol-free this time. Remember what happened last time? Well, I don't remember all of it. Exactly my point. Stay focused. You have midterms soon, don't you? Are you studying properly? Why do you care anyway? You've already graduated! Because I hope to see the rest of you graduate as well. So, yes, I do care. Make sure you're doing your best, Ryuji. Ugh. Yes, ma'am. You know, I talked about you to my mom. You did? Why? Well, not about your personal stuff or anything. Just the advice you gave me, the discussion about friendship and all. I really valued it, you know? And I wanted her thought on it. And what did she say? She thought it was solid advice. For Akira and all. Said it sounded like you really get the big picture about how relationships work and all. And then... Well, I kind of bragged about how you've been a good friend to me. Hmm. A commendation from the Sakamoto household. I'm honored. So... So, I was thinking... Would you like to meet my mom? She's kind of curious about you now. Uh... I'm not usually in the business of making impressions on parents. Well, I'm not in the business of bringing my friends over either. You're the first, to be honest. Really? Hmm. How should I dress for this clandestine meeting? What should I bring? Man, don't sweat it too much. Mom's cool. She'll like you. Just show up. We'll all eat together and maybe we can watch a movie or read a manga after. A gesture of goodwill never harmed anyone. I can't really come empty-handed, especially if I'm being offered dinner. What does she like? Chocolates? Uh, yeah. Sweets sound good? She loves those traditional Japanese sweets, you know? The ones you always say are too bland for your taste? Ah, a sacrifice for the greater good then. I'll endure the blandness this once. Man, you're really doing this, huh? This means a lot to me, you know? I'll tell her you're on board. She'll be super happy. No thank you, Ryuji, for trusting me with this. I'll make sure not to disappoint. So today's the day, huh? You're going to tell her? Yes, though I'm wrestling with how to present it, without breaking her heart entirely. Futaba had some doubts, but Haru, she's blissfully unsuspecting, despite the revelation of my darker side. Yeah, but you can't let this eat away at you forever. And the way you're planning to do it, with empathy and sincerity, it's a good approach, Goro. Empathy and sincerity? Wrapped in the confession of a murderer. How quaint? But you're right. No use in delaying the inevitable. And don't forget, you're not the same person you were back then. Haru, she'll see that. Yes. Flowers to soften the blow of... I'm not sorry for killing your father. But I relate that it sucks to have a shitty dad in the first place. Now, how can that possibly go wrong? It would be best to apologize, but at least you're acknowledging her pain and your actions. It's a step towards mending what was broken. Bonds are about honesty, aren't they? Let's get this over with. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it at all. I'm so happy for you. Oh, hey, Akechi! Hey, Mona! Hello, you two. What's this commotion about? You two seem positively electrified. Yeah, Lady Anne, Shiho, you're both glowing. Spill the beans. Anne, tell them, tell them! Uh, Shiho, calm down. It's not that big of a deal. It is! Okay, okay. So, my agency said a movie studio is interested in me for the lead role in their next drama. But there's like, a ton of lines and I'm freaking out about memorizing all of it. A lead role? That's quite impressive, Anne. 
You have every reason to be excited. Wow, Lady Anne, that's amazing. You'll be great. Thanks, guys, but I'm not just excited. I'm also really nervous. The role, it's a villain. A villain, you say? Now that's intriguing. Tell me more about this character. Well, she's this glamorous woman, living the high life as a star. Everyone loves her, but little do they know, she's actually a spy from a foreign country. She's investigating the male hero of the story, who's a charismatic Japanese government official. Sounds exciting! And, uh, let me guess, these two end up falling in love? Exactly! It's a whole tangle of rivalry, secrets, and emotions. Enemy to lovers, with a dramatic twist at the end. Now that's a narrative that holds a mirror up to the best and worst of us, doesn't it? A dance between facades and the truths that lie beneath. There's a certain allure in playing a multifaceted character, especially when love is involved. Quite the challenge, but one I believe you're up to. And that's precisely why I thought Akechi could be a massive help to you. He's got a knack for seeing right through to the heart of things. I suppose I could share some techniques. You just need to understand your character's mindset. Once you truly grasp who she is and what drives her, the lines will start to flow naturally. Oh, really? You'd do that? Of course. It'd be a shame if fear of memorization held you back from shining as you're meant to. He's got a point, Lady Anne. You'll nail this role with flying colors. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. I feel a lot better about this now. Let's do it. Then it's settled. We'll start by breaking down your character's motivations and emotional journey, and we'll work on cues for you to memorize the lines. And I'll be here to cheer you on. After all, every star needs a loyal fan. This is going to be so cool, and you're going to be amazing. I can't thank you all enough. I'm going to give this everything I've got. By the way, Akechi, can I ask you something about that meet and greet you did? Ah, uh, that, I suppose it was inevitable we'd circle back to it. What about it? I noticed, uh, well, uh, everyone did towards the end. It got really intense with some of the questions. You handled it so well, but I could tell it was tough on you. Are you okay? It's not something I'm keen on remembering, but I appreciate your concern. I found myself caught between who I am and who I was expected to be. It's a precarious balance. You did great, Goro. Not everyone can stay composed under that kind of pressure. Perhaps, but it's one thing to maintain composure and another to confront your past. Especially when it's being prodded at rudely by strangers. I saw how it affected you. And I just want to say, if you ever decide to do something like that again, don't let them get to you and don't hesitate to say no. Popularity is nice, but your well-being is the most important thing. My last interview was similar. The magazine wanted a photo of me that was totally inappropriate. I told them how I felt, and even if I lost the contract, it's better than playing to their whims, right? Yeah, they were complete morons. Sorry for the language, but I really wanted to give them a good kick in the jaw when you told me what they said about you. Wow, Shiho, I didn't know you were so intense. But you were right to refuse, Lady Anne. You don't need that kind of exposure to shine. It takes courage to stand up like that, especially in a field as punishing as modeling, where image is everything. But you're absolutely right, Anne. I'll be more vigilant in the future and learn from your admirable behavior. It wasn't easy, but I felt much better afterwards. Knowing where to draw the line is so important, isn't it? I agree. It's the moments we choose to stand our ground that truly define us, not the false pretenses we wear for the sake of conformity. I'll make sure to remember your words. It's a difficult balance to find, I guess. But it's easier to navigate with allies who remind you of what's truly important, right? Speaking of navigating, how about we navigate our way to some pastries? My treat! Very tempting. And under any other circumstance, I'd accept without a second thought. However, I still have a few errands to run today. Consider it a rain check on my part. Ah, uh, are you sure you can't push those errands to later? It's been a while since we filled our stomachs with sugary treats. Duty calls, unfortunately. Do enjoy those pastries for us, all right? You bet! And next time, you're not getting out of it. We'll hold you both to that rain check. I'll look forward to it then. Until next time, take care, both of you. We'll keep in touch about the drama. Thanks, Akechi. We'll catch up soon. Thank you for agreeing to help her, Akechi.
Bye, Mona-chan. Bye, ladies. Oh no, Akira is here. Let's head back. Hmm, what a formidable coincidence. He saw us. Yes, I noticed. Well, let's go anyway. We'll look even more suspicious if we don't greet him. But do you really want to tell him about Haru-chan? Hey, Akira. Oh, hello there, honey. Missed me already? Morning, Akira. I need your knowledge in flower language. It's a bit of an unusual request. Hello, Mona. And, well, lay it on me. I've heard weirder, I'm sure. Is there a way to say? I regret the consequences of my actions, but not the actions themselves with flowers. For Futaba, huh? I'm not sure flowers are really her thing. While your experience in navigating relationships is certainly to die for, today I'm here to seek your expertise in floristry. All right then. You're looking for honesty, something raw, but also understanding? Exactly, it's complicated. I can't change what I did, nor do I regret it. But I, uh, acknowledge the pain it caused. I understand. For acknowledging pain, there's the purple hyacinth. It symbolizes apology, sorrow, not for the act itself, but for the pain caused. Hmm, that's a start. But what about the part where I don't regret the action? I don't want to lie. For that, thistles, they represent toughness, bravery, and pain. It's like saying, you stand by your actions, but you're not insensitive to the pain they've caused. Hmm. Huh. Thistles and purple hyacinths, then. An odd combination, but I trust your expertise. There's one more I'd add, white chrysanthemums. In Japan, they symbolize grief and lamentation, but also loyalty and devoted love. It's not strictly romantic, but considering how much you value her, it might resonate more deeply. You, uh, would be fine with me expressing such sentiments to, um, Futaba? Why the surprise? Given your recent possessiveness. You killed her mother. I'm very proud of you for trying to make things right with her in a way that doesn't involve lying or running towards your disappearance. Maraki will help soothe her grief and you'll be able to confront your guilt. It's a win-win. But helping her soothe her grief is equivalent to altering her mind once more. I don't want that. Would you rather have her spiraling down and tearing open a hole in Maruki's reality? Like Yusuke, becoming a crack through which the truth seeps irreversibly? Why then do you endorse this reopening of old wounds? Because it's necessary for your healing, and I care about you deeply. The truth is already causing her unrest, and she values you. I can compromise too. If Maruki steps in, it won't be... Real? No, you're right. It is the best outcome. So, a bouquet that speaks of sorrow, acceptance, and the complexity of emotions. It's perfect in a way. That's the best anyone can do. Do you want me to arrange them for you? Indeed. And not for now. I appreciate your guidance, but I was just looking for advice. I need a bit more time to get my words right. Certainly. You'll be seeing her at LeBlanc? Any plans for today? Not before noon, but I intended to catch the Featherman rerun. How did you manage to miss it last night? You were on your way home after the usual coffee. Oh, shit. Um, I had an unexpected call to deal with a vandalism case in a rather inconvenient part of town. How about we watch the episode together? We could spend some time at the cafe afterwards. 
Uh, it's Sunday. I've already promised Haru we'll see each other for another cooking lesson, so my time is limited. Hmm. What if I were to offer you a cooking lesson myself, if you're interested? Well, as mentioned... I'm free today. My shift will be over in about 20 minutes. Midterms are looming, and I'll be buried in studies soon. You can see Haru anytime, right? You have a point. Are you willing to share your curry secret recipe then? What? B but Goro... Ha! Ah, it intrigues you that much, huh? Well, I'll let you into it. There's no recipe as such. I improvise as I go. Really now? Hard to believe. But if that's true, you're even more skilled in the kitchen than I thought. I just excel at everything. Huh. There's one area you could stand to improve on. Couldn't agree more. Your driving leaves much to be desired. That wasn't my point. I was merely prioritizing efficiency, cutting through shadows at breakneck speed. Look at you, all nostalgic. Missing the thrill? And you don't? Not in the slightest. I've got all I need right here. Hmm, smooth talker. Takes one to know one. Uh, please. All right then. I'll drop off my groceries and meet you at LeBlanc after your shift. Looking forward to it. See you then, honey. See you, love. Are you serious? You said you wanted to tell Haru the truth today. I know. I'll call her and apologize. That's beside the point. You can see Akira anytime. And Haru won't vanish. Now shut up. You're drawing attention to yourself. And I'd rather not get fined. Hmm. You didn't even buy the flowers in the end. Haru-san, it's Akechi. I hope I'm not calling at a bad time. Akechi, no, not at all. I was just thinking about you. How are you feeling? Better, I hope? Yes, much better, thank you. I'm truly sorry for worrying you last weekend. Your message, it meant a lot to me. I'm glad to hear you're better. That's what matters. Were you able to rest well? Somewhat, yes. Though, I'm afraid I... I have another commitment today, and I won't be able to make it to our lesson. Oh, I see. That's unfortunate, but I understand. Your work is important. Is everything all right? Everything's fine, Haru. It's just a last-minute assignment that I can't really postpone. You know how it is. I promise we'll reschedule, and I'll... I'll make it up to you. I'm really sorry. Hmm... It's okay, really. Please don't feel too pressured. We all have our responsibilities. I just hope you're taking care of yourself amidst all this. I am. Thanks to your concern. It... helps more than you might realize. And Harusan, I know I probably shared too much last time, but if you're willing to indulge me a bit more, there's something else I want to tell you about my past when the time is right. I think you deserve to know. Oh, actually, I was thinking of opening up more with you to even the odds. There's something I wanted to show you as well, to be honest. But I'll be more than happy to lend you an ear for whatever it is you want to tell me. I'm grateful for your trust. Thank you, Harusan. That means a great deal to me. I'll be in touch soon and we'll plan something. Take care until then. You too, Akichi. I'll be looking forward to it. Bye for now.
you know, for someone who prides himself on being blunt and direct, you're surprisingly good at handling these delicate situations. But don't think I didn't notice the dodge there. You're pushing off the confession again. Haru's trust in you is growing, and the longer you wait, the harder it's going to hit her. What's the plan here, Goro? I think it was fairly transparent. I'll have Akira teach me how to cook, and we'll use the opportunity to hang out at LeBlanc afterwards. Maybe spend some time with Futaba. If you don't agree with the plan, feel free to do something else. I'm not going to stop you. It's... it's a risky game you're playing, Goro. Don't forget that these aren't just strategies or moves to achieve a goal. People's lives and feelings are at stake. You're not the only one who'll have to live with the consequences of your actions. I just hope you're prepared for that. And, for the record, I'm not going anywhere. Someone's got to make sure you don't lose yourself in this web you're weaving. Thank you for your unwavering support, Mona. It means a lot to me. Let's get going, shall we?